Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, we are going to be doing a tag video, which I've never done a tag video on this channel before. So, yeah, um, I'm gonna do the unpopular makeup opinions. I have seen a lot of people do this. I don't know who started it, but whoever started it, um, give them credit in the comments below. <laughs> so, yeah, I think it's just, yeah, it's just eight questions, and I thought that, you know, it, it'd be really fun, and I mean, a lot of people, us as, you know, um, YouTubers, we really talk about the popular stuff, you know, and um, we don't really talk about stuff that we don't do, people we don't support, or <laughs> I don't want to say that in a bad way, because um, I really do want to support everybody, but some people have ulterior motives when it comes to... <laughs> YouTube. All right, so I'm just gonna get started, I guess. So before we get started, don't forget to subscribe, um, ring my bell, and give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Um, yeah, I upload almost every single day. I do have a skip day here and there, but for the most part, I am uploading every single day. So be sure to check back for more. I'm putting in lotion right now, but be sure to check back, you know, and and um, you know, because I always have new videos up. So <laughs> yeah, so subscribe Let's get started so the first question is popular makeup product that you don't like um so like i i don't really know if there's like a product that i don't like like a certain like this brand makes this that i don't like but i really hate anything like any kind of primer that says dewy or illuminating <laughs> i can't stand it because i have oily skin and so dewy, dewy and illuminating is like me naturally and i don't want to be doing dewy and illuminating all naturally so for that reason i just it like i don't know but it's one of my pet peeves i'm like ooh, dewy ooh, ooh, i don't like that so or like dewy setting mist and i know you're gonna say i have the anastasia dewy set it's kind of like some brands you know they'll take dewy and illuminating and they'll make it glittery or sparkly and that's what i cannot stand second one is popular makeup brand that everyone seems to hate but you love so i would probably say too faced first of all probably too faced because of you know the like like my num my number one person i like to watch on youtube tati like she doesn't you know, support too faced so you know i never really get to see her doing it and jeffree star doesn't like too faced i just i don't see as many people talking about it in general, like no matter if I'm watching somebody with 200 subscribers or 200,000 subscribers, you know, it's it's just really not talked about as much. And so for that reason, I think that Too Faced is definitely on the list. Another one is definitely Makeup Revolution because I notice so many people just like, uh, this from Makeup Revolution sucked. Mm, and I don't really hear many people talking about them. I mean, their foundation and concealer, People are like, oh, it's good. But then it's like, what else? You know, what else? And I don't hear people talking about the Emily Noel palettes. I don't hear talking about them talking about like the new palettes that just came out, which I will haul soon. Yeah, and I just don't feel like people look at this brand. I feel like if we're going to go more for like inexpensive, we're looking at we're looking at Morphe and we're looking at ColourPop. We're not looking at Makeup Revolution. I think Makeup Revolution has some awesome products. So <laughs> So number three is a makeup collab that you didn't like or weren't interested in. So I have written down here that the Laura Lee and the ColourPop No Kill LA one, I was just kind of like, mm. but I also think a lot of the ColourPop collabs with like influencers that I've honestly never heard of. Um, yeah, <laughs> so like I didn't, I really wasn't interested in the Bretman Rock ColourPop collab. Sorry, my hair is like really weird. I really wasn't into that. I also wasn't a lot of their other collabs. I'm just kind of like, mm, mm. so I think ColourPop is a lot of what what I'm just not interested in because I feel like they don't really draw my attention because they come out with so much. But I love ColourPop because they're really like a good product. They're like they're a good brand. So yeah, popular makeup step that you never do well i first comes to mind is cream contouring i do not cream to contour i don't have anything to cream contour with when i see people like talk to you know they get out like the contour palette 
and like really like contour 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 the nose contour lips like contour all that like I don't do I don't do excessive contouring I also don't do excessive highlighting you know people will highlight go right here right here down the nose chin uh, like they'll go everywhere and for my oily skin I can't do that because if I put it on my nose ooh, that would backfire I also just don't like when there's like a little bit of highlight on this on like the tip of your nose I, I don't like that and I don't like nose contouring I just feel like I feel like it's totally not necessary so popular makeup influencer you don't watch well I've never really been like drawn into Manny and Mue's videos um, but it's against him I mean like I just I just never like he just never like drew my attention and I don't think that's either like a good thing or a bad thing um, I don't know much about him but yeah you just never really drew my attention same with Laura Lee I think oh, like the reason was like her videos just never like excited me and like when I see somebody like you know Tati put up a new video I'm like oh yay Tati but for Laura Lee it was just kind of like mm, mm. and so I'm not subscribed to either of them I just they never drew my attention in a positive or a negative way so I don't think that there's like any like hate on them because of it they just the other one is um James Charles <laughs> so you guys not have the James Charles palette I love it um and I did used to watch oh shut the front door Patty uploaded a video <laughs> okay sorry oh gosh I got excited so um James Charles I just I know I don't really want to take sides or like go into like the drama but James Charles <laughs> just the allegations that I've heard against him and about him and I know Tati and Tati doesn't like make things up for views and you know I truly believed everything that she said in that video so for her to say those things like that came from the truth you know and so I believe her when she said that like all those terrible allegations I don't want to talk about on here but um after that whole like scandal drama whatever started I just kind of was like I I don't want to I don't want to support that so for that reason I'm just not watching him anymore either popular makeup brand that you don't use anymore anything that's not cruelty free so like um, L'Oreal, Maybelline, Lancome, Clinique, Estee Lauder, MAC, you know, all that stuff, I really try hard not to use. Um, I mean, there is some exceptions, like stuff that I already have in my collection before I went to cruelty free, or maybe like I got it as a gift, or maybe I didn't realize it wasn't cruelty free and I bought it and then I was like, oh, great. I mean, there are some really awesome products from like Maybelline, Revlon, you know, all that stuff that I would love to try, but... I could never get myself to do it because I think it would it just goes against my personal beliefs. That's all. Number seven, makeup trend you have no interest in trying. I said before, excessive contouring. I do not want to know how to contour like my freaking eyebrows. I don't really care about contouring every inch of my face. I do love makeup. Don't get me wrong, I love makeup, but I don't want to look like a mannequin either. You know, I want to look like an enhanced version of me. So yeah. The last question in this is makeup product that was better in theory. So I had to really think about this one because I, you know, I don't really just like buy stuff on a whim and be like, oh, I've never heard anyone talk about this. Let's buy it. <laughs> you know, I really like a lot of the things that I try and I don't think that I don't use a lot of like beauty, like fancy tools, like face rollers or anything like that. I don't use that kind of stuff. And so it took me a while to think about it. And I finally decided on one. It's the June & Co. Velvet Sponge. So I bought this a couple months, like two months ago at Riley Rose. I'll have my haul for that one that linked down below. I think that it really puts on product nicely. And I think that that was a very good idea. But that thing 
is so hard to clean. I cannot clean it. Literally, foundation is like just sitting on it that I can't get off of it. With beauty blenders, yeah, they, they stain. Whatever, you know, but um, this one legitimately doesn't get clean. There are still powder particles after it, after I soak it, after I scrub it, and I just think that if you're gonna do that, just go with a beauty blender, you know, like, why bother? So, so that is my unpopular makeup opinions tag. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, don't take anything too personal either. If you love, you know, your dewy, dewy primers or whatever, this is just because of my skin, my skin type, or just my opinions. Like, don't take these to heart if you use Maybelline and you're not cruelty free. Don't worry about it. It's fine. <laughs> like, we all have our opinions. We're all humans. We're all different. So, yeah, um, that's all. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to subscribe and ring my bell. So, thanks for hanging out, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Bye.